This tutorial is part of a series of technical topics covering features provided by the Senate Application Provider Portal, specifically notification targets. In the production environment, Senate, by default, automatically configures all traffic to be sent to the single destination of your choice. So in this example, what we're going to do is showcase how new devices automatically send their payload data to your endpoint, as well as taking a device in your application and adjusting the notification target to somewhere else for testing. For this example, I have a Node-RED instance running on my local machine. And if you're not familiar with Node-RED, a quick example is this workflow. We accept a post request from the network server. We have a template that will take that payload data and output it. And the output goes to this message debug. We also have an HTTP response in order for the network server to know that it was actually received. On the right here is a debug window. I'll just clear this now. All of our payload data will show up here as we're testing. Also for this test, I have two devices that we can see, which are two X dots, and I'll be using these in this example. Back in our dashboard, I have two devices that I've already activated and registered. That workflow we've already covered, so I won't go through that again. However, if I go to one of these devices, let's say 00D8, and type in the value AT send, we'll do hello world, we can see that it was sent OK. And if we go to our Node Red application, this last message in our debug, we can drill down to. And if we go to the body, we can find all the information from that device. Here it's 00D8 as the dev UI, also the PDU. And if you speak ASCII too fluently, you'll know that this hex value translates to hello world. This works for both of these devices. I'll send another example now. Just do hello. And again, back in our Node Red application, we can find that right down here the request and the body 00127 which is the dev UI of this device now for testing an alternate endpoint it's something that you want to be able to achieve without conflicting with your current production environment this is where we get into what we call diagnostic mode diagnostic mode effectively enables notifiers on a per device basis. Under your devices tab under your applications, you can select any one of your devices and toggle that diagnostic mode right here. We'll do so with this device, 00D8, and I will click on it to go to the device details. Under the gear icon, we'll find a notification target setting right here that we can apply an alternate location for testing. I'm going to forward to MQTT. Now, before I fill this out, I want to show you how to connect to an MQTT broker using this Eclipse PAHO application. This essentially represents what our application will look like. Again, this is just testing, just to showcase how this will works. I'm going to put in my host, which is mqtt.craigdeal.com. The port is, a, is actually a WebSocket port, which is 8083. The path doesn't matter. The username is Senate Ops and a super secret password. And I'll hit connect. So I've connected to a personal MQTT broker that's waiting to hear packets. From here, I'm going to simply subscribe to a topic. And this could be anything. But for here, I'll just put down test. I'll hit subscribe. And down here in our console log, we'll see that we're subscribed to that topic. Back in our portal, I'm going to configure this device for that broker. We'll enable the notification target. We'll forward to MQTT. Let's include our data for this one. And I will enter the broker address, which again is mqtt.com. The broker port is actually 1883 different from the WebSocket port that we used previously, just to connect to the broker to see the streaming data. The published topic from this device will be test, the same topic 
that we're subscribing to in this application right here. Subscribe topic needs to be different, so let's just put down test2 and the same authentication. Set so ops and a super secret password. I'll hit save, and now we can start testing. You'll notice that right away it shows inactive. That's because we haven't sent any payload data yet. I'll go to this device in question, which is 00D8, which I believe is this one right here. Nope, the other one. And from here, we'll do the same process. We'll send up a payload, hello world, and we'll look on our MQTT broker. And there it is. WI, the gateway it went through, which is my personal gateway at my office. That ASCII 2 hex value, which translates to hello world, and some timestamps. Also, you'll notice that we're getting data rate and RSSI and SNR values because we enabled RF statistics in our notification target. We should be seeing it in our node red application right here. We'll drop down, go to the request object, scroll down to body and 00D8. There's our device and here is the PDU. And that's all there is to it. We've successfully onboarded two devices that automatically sent payload data to our production application. We also took one of those devices and set up a test MQTT broker endpoint that it can send data to for testing. Hope this helps. Thanks.